Today I'm going to talk about the connection between heart and sugar. Many people blame it on cholesterol, but it is basically sugar which is causing a lot of problems, not just to heart, to many organs inside the body. If you do some research, you will come to know about it. When you consume a lot of sugar, and uh, some of the sugar like uh, fructose, they do have a lower GI, that is glycemic index, but they are processed and metabolized in the liver. I have already made a video about the connection between liver and the heart. So now when the sugar is metabolized by the uh, liver, a lot of free radicals produced. So in fact, there are many studies being done. There has been an established connection between sugar and heart disease, but scientists do not know why it is being caused. But there is some theory that there are lots of free radicals caused because of consuming a lot of sugar. Even if you don't have diabetes, but still your body will have to produce that extra insulin to uh, digest that sugar. In that process, it creates a lot of insulin also in the blood. Now, these free radicals cause a um, lot of uh, damage to the organs. Now, uh, let's take, uh, like you consume a lot of sugar, there's a lot of insulin. Now, there is some damage happened, the blood vessels, you know, it actually causes even blood clots. <laughs> so, the blood thickens. It's very interesting if you note that when you're bleeding, like you get injured and you're bleeding. Uh, my mother always told us that, yeah, just put some sugar on top of that. The bleeding will stop. So, it actually kind of thickens the blood as well. So, it behaves like an adhesive and the blood kind of, you know, becomes very sticky. Now imagine what it can do inside. It it can actually cause clots. There are research papers on this. Now uh, when this kind of damage happens, the body tries to repair it. The heart muscles or the, you know the tissues, the veins, you know, the, these are getting repaired by the body. Now they use cholesterol also to repair this. There is a little bit of cholesterol found in the plaque that is in the heart. Now, uh, the cholesterol also contains um, antioxidants. So, the cholesterol by itself is not bad. Now, that is made out to be the villain. But cholesterol actually is required by the body to repair these damages. So, the presence of high cholesterol indicates that there is some damage happened in your body. It's an indication, not the cause itself. So, but there are sometimes an exception to this is that when you consume a bad cholesterol in the sense an oxidized cholesterol or you know, uh, uh, you deep fry items. So, you really put it in high heat and then there's a combination of heat and oxygen. So, these oxygenated fat becomes a bad cholesterol. So, those definitely can cause damage as well. But by itself, the cholesterol is not the villain here. The sugar is a major villain here. There can be many other contributing factors. But please remember that sugar is a first and foremost villain for many types of diseases. Many types of diseases. So, uh, it is prudent to control your sugar intake in the sense that do not eat sugar. Even in children, studies have shown that, you know, eating excess sugar contributes to lesser brain function. Lower cholesterol actually is also not good. Because uh, there are so many vitamins like um, a D and uh, A. These are all fat soluble. The liver will not be able to process and store it if you do not have enough good cholesterol. So because of this, don't cut down uh, your cholesterol so much so that your body uh, uh, is not able to function properly. Low cholesterol is a, again a very dangerous situation. So eat moderately, eat good uh, cholesterol, that is good fat and do not eat fried food and avoid sugar importantly. The sugar is not just in the form of white sugar, there are sugars naturally present in everything like fruits and everything, that is okay. Uh, packaged foods are the worst, packaged foods have lot of inbuilt sugars in it, so be aware of what you are eating. The, because sometimes the label does not say sugar per se but then lot of packaged foods contain uh, sugar in a hidden form uh, so please do your research and be very careful about uh, having so much of uh, sugar that your body is not able to process and can eventually lead to many diseases inside the body it will not show in one or two days it takes a lot of time to build up and then it definitely makes some damage so even from childhood switch to natural sugars jaggery is 
okay but then don't overdo anything moderation is the key and try and avoid the processed sugar altogether uh, if you like this video click on the like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you for watching